Hello Booktube, it's Louise the Big Head Bookworm, lovely to see you, hope you're well, hope you're having a good day, whatever it is you're doing or wherever it is you are. It is Friday the 22nd of June here, in. Uh, we're just outside of St Ives in Cambridgeshire, sat in my garden, we have the sun putting beautiful rays on me, beautiful blue sky, not a cloud in the beautiful blue sky that I am sat looking at and I'm here to talk about books that I am not enjoying. <laughs> such a glorious day I should be talking about all the books I'm loving I am not having a good reading month May was fabulous I read lots of wonderful things in May and I'm just not reading them in June and I don't believe it's the book's fault I think it's very much where I am I'm tired because of all the commuting I'm doing taking Benedict to my 10 year old school uh, 10 year old son to school and back sorry I've got my iced coffee here um, soya milk um, with coffee and hazelnut in. Oh, it's yum. Um, tangent, what am I talking about? Yes, I'm tired because I'm doing a lot of um, driving. Um, and then we're trying to get other stuff done. And I'm still trying to settle down into this new house. So I think it's less about uh, the books and, where, and much more about where I am. But I also think I've picked badly. Do you ever do that? You just get you. I don't know though. I've picked a variety of books here, and none of them have got in. Have I got into? I just. I just, Anyway, there's. I'll start with a book that I. I actually did finish, but I struggled through it, and that was the Blood Dimmed Tide by Rennie Arth. So I read the first one, which was called River of Darkness. And this is a John Madden mystery. I loved River of Darkness. It was set in the 1920s and 1921 um, in Sussex. And it was a post-First World War crime book with John Madden as the um, inspector. And it was great. It was so atmospheric. It was so period perfect. And I really enjoyed it and I really loved it. So I was so pleased to carry on with the series. And I picked up The Blood Dimmed Ch Tide which is the second one. Now, this is set 10 years later, so it's 1932. And it features John Madden as, as the... Uh, but he no longer works for um, Scotland Yard. And that was my problem. There wasn't enough John Madden in this. He's the, he's the character that held together the first book for me and that I wanted to know about. And whenever he was involved in this book, it lit up. But he must have only been involved in about 20% of it. So that for the rest of the book, I was waiting for him to come back into it. And I found that really frustrating, I have to say. I have got one of the later books in the series, um, Death of Kings, I think. And I don't know how many of these I'd have to read to get to that point. No, this only shows the first three. And The Reckoning is the next book. So I might see if I can get it out of the library rather than buy it. Um, because I really want to read Death of Kings. And I'm now tempted to read it out of order. If I might try The Reckoning and see if it's any good. Um, if it's not, I might just read Death of Kings out of order. because I. But it was so kind of disappointing because the first book I absolutely loved. And I thought, this is it. I've found a new series and this is going to be great. And I was, as I was saying, 80% of this book, I was like, bring back John. Bring back John, I was saying. So that's a book that I did finish. Now, here we are. We'll go into my books that I have started and got nowhere with. First one was Falling Creatures by Catherine Stansfield. This is based on historical events. Falling Creatures probes the dark heart of Victorian Cornwall in the shadow of gallows justice. All sounds good. Victorian Cornwall, you know, sign me up for that. Look at that. The spookiness in it. I got to page... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let me have a say. I was probably about page... 45 yeah oh hello excuse me fly yeah I was about kind of page 45 and it just wasn't I just no I can't put my finger on what it was um maybe it's because it's Victorian melodrama it's first person and I wasn't enjoying that I don't believe it's the book's fault and I do believe I will come back to and enjoy it it is a book that once I believe I get into I will enjoy I just hadn't connected with any of the characters or the subject matter or the or the pacing pacing was slightly off for me um but i need to i need to give this another try so i'm willing to give this one another go it just 
it didn't do it for me and there's going to be a lot of that I then picked oh no actually oh well I'll show you this one Retribution by Gillian Hoffman The Past The Present The Terror this is a crime book set in both New York and then Florida I it's a serial killer book you know what I like for a serial killer I got over 100 pages into this yes oh another fly on me at least 100 pages into this and it's just not got me and I was deliberately not picking it up which is a shame because it, it seems to be a good book it's over 500 pages long so I'd read 20% of it and it just it didn't I blah it's incredibly graphic not that I mind that but I don't know one of those. I think an awful lot of this video is me going to be going, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Might want to stop now. I started Obsidio, the Illuminae Files, number three. I love the first two, and I, but I think I have to be in the mood with them. So I started this one quite quickly after reading Gemina. And I wonder whether I do need a bit of a time between them so that I'm... It, it's so similar. It's kind of mixed media format written as case files um so it's kind of graphic novel and mis and mixed media format and story it's ya science fiction they're really good they're really fast paced they're very quick to read and i think it's just too soon since reading gemina for me i think it's so distinctive i need a break so i'm really glad i've bought it and i will read it at one point but it's too similar to gemini gemina and I need to give myself a bit of time. Um, I'd bought this, uh, well, my husband bought it for me um, in, uh, after my birthday. It's Andreas Sarprowski, The Last Witch, A uh, Last Wish, and it's the best-selling novel which inspired The Witcher. A lot of people said that these are really good. It's a slim little fantasy novel, and I was looking forward to that. I got to page, here are, page 60. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. You do have to concentrate on it because there's no kind of, like, lead in. It is straight into the world, get on with it kind of kind of a book. Um, and I did, I was enjoying it, but I wasn't picking it up. And I thought, no, I don't want to carry on reading it. I'm reading, I think I, probably if I pushed forward a little bit more, I would get back into it and I will pick it up soon because I don't want to forget where I'm up to. But it wasn't, it wasn't thrilling me. Less about the book, much more about me. I picked up this, um, which is as old as time. Can you see that in this light? There we go. As old as time. A twisted Tale, What If Belle's Mother Cursed the Beast. I got, oh, how far did I get into this? Probably, oh, 30 pages. Just not for me at the time. I was reading it one night. I picked it up. I thought, oh, it would be a light-hearted thing that I could start reading. It would not kind of take much long to read because it's quite, it's big print. Can you see that? It's quite big print and I'll be able to charge through it, even though it's quite a lot of pages. It's nearly 500 pages. It's big print and it's it's going to short chapters. I'll be able to fly through it. Um, no, I just, I read the little, the first 30 pages and I thought it's not for me at this moment. I'm just not in the mood for fairy tales. I'm going to take those off there because it's knocking the table. And then I picked up this. Tommy Ademi, Tommy Ademi, is that right? Children of Blood and Bone. This was very popular. Again, this is... Um, it's Pam Macmillan and it's um, YA fantasy. They killed my mother. They took our magic. They tried to bury us. Now we rise. It's kind of warrior fiction. Um, it's very diverse and culturally different than myself. I read the first blah, 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 40 pages, thought it sounded really good. I'm just not in the mood for it at the moment. And, I, and I've and i got to the stage now where I'm going, no, I'm not in the mood for that. I'm going to leave it quickly so that I will be able to come back to it another time. And when I'm in the mood for this, this will be really fantastic, but I'm just not in the mood for it at the moment. There we go. So that, I mean, there are other books as well that I have read 10... 20 pages all of those nothing wrong with them as you can see there's quite a variety and i'm just not in the mood for one disappointing read the blood 
dim tide and I really forced myself to get through that so I didn't know what to do so I was really looking for I was thinking well do I you know should I just get a romance book and do a quick and quick and dirty read to get me into this and then I thought no I'm not in the mood for no in the mood for my romance books I know I know what is wrong with me young people so I picked up this the Seeker by S.G. McLean. McLean? McLean? I don't know. Um, it is set in London, 1655, in Cromwell's London. The Lord Protector's most fe feared agent is Damien Seeker. Um, and I picked, it, I picked it up. I ordered it in because the third one has just come out. And somebody on Instagram was saying, hooray, the third one's come out. I really like this um, kind of Middle Ages fiction it's about and I thought I haven't read that much about Oliver Cromwell's London um it does say you could see a Sansom give them a run for their money and I thought well I'll give it a go I'll give it a go so that's that's what it is it's called The Seeker um and I've started reading it and I think 94 pages in I think I may have found the book that is going to get me out of this little period that I'm in at the moment um and I think this is going to be the, the book that is going to start me reading again. I do think sometimes I just get out of the habit, and it is a habit of reading. And it hasn't felt right. I haven't felt right with myself because I haven't been reading. But I haven't been able to enjoy anything or haven't launched into or been comfortable or blah with anything. That was such beautiful English. I know. This is why you watch me, isn't it? It's for my, my erudite views and my concise summing up. Just maybe going there. Um, I think this is going to be the book because I now want to carry on. I actually want to find out what's happening. There's been that there's I'm hooked already. You see, that's what I needed. I needed a historical crime thriller that will catch me. And the there is jeopardy in there, but it's not too alarming. And it just I think I think this is going to be the book. I really did. And this morning I was thinking, oh, I'm looking forward to picking that book up, and I thought that that that's what I've been missing that feeling oh I look forward to reading that I'm not going to listen to the radio or I'm not going to listen to a podcast or I'm not going to pick up my knitting and do something I'm going to read my book instead so happy days I think this is the book that is going to do it for me and I look forward to reading this this weekend what's I say it's Friday today so yeah I should you know by Sunday I should have should have gone through it I'm that far so let's see i'm 94 pages in and it is well it's about 400 pages so nearly 25 percent in so there we go Hurrah! i have listened to uh, i have read a agatha which is going to be my next pick for the casual christie club and i did say i was going to put a video out this week i think about it but it's going to be next week now and there we go so there we are booktube i hope you're having a good time i hope you're having a better reading month than i am and that you are loving the book that you're reading at the moment um if you're not tell me the last book that you gave up <laughs> what the book what was the last book that just wasn't doing it for you and we can commiserate, commiserate together oh, got hair there. anyway that's it i'm just going to sit here enjoy the sun and sup a bit more of my iced coffee look forward to seeing you again let's do this again <laughs>